Hi there, and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series where we will show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 journey. So, you just made it through the Undead Settlement, and now it's time to take on the Curse Rod of Great Wood. So, go ahead and enter the boss room, and start running up towards the tree. So, you're probably going to want at least one Alluring Skull for this fight, to uh, keep the enemies off you during the first phase. So, you're just going to run past all the basic enemies, head right for the tree, and then as the tree wakes up, you can go ahead and throw a skull behind you, activate a charcoal pine bundle, and take about five hits into the main middle sacks. Okay, then you're just going to go and take one or two hits into the sack on his leg, and then he will slam himself on the ground and begin his second phase. Upon your landing, you probably want to apply another one of your bundles and start to hit his hand. That will take about two or three hits. And then he'll do one of three attacks. He'll probably either go for the slam, stand up, or he will do a spin. So be sure to be prepared for all of those. Then you're going to try and run for the sack on his front leg, front left leg and just keep hitting that one until it breaks. Then you want to get a couple of quick hits on his hand, maybe three or so. Then you're going to run over to his backside. Just try and get behind him to get the last sack you'll need for this fight. So once you're behind him, you're going to want to try and hit those sacks right there. Get a couple of hits on those. Um, you can normally stand in this kind of acid puddle. It won't do too much damage. It just will slow your movement down. And then get that last sack and you'll finish him off. And that's how you beat the Cursor of Greatwood using a knife. Okay, now that you've seen how to do it with the knight, now we're going to try and beat the Great Wood using sorcery. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the magic weapon spell right when you're walking up towards the enemies. And you're just going to try and run past them again. You can use an alluring skull for this if you like, which I am going to. So you can just go ahead and equip those. Throw it just like last time. And go ahead and smack them around a couple times. It will take a couple more hits because he's not as weak to magic as he is to fire. But still not too bad. Okay, then you're just going to go for his leg, just like last time. You can go ahead and break that. Okay, so now when you land on the ground, you're, he's going to have the hand pop out, and you're going to want to uh, aim for that with your heavy soul arrow. See if you can get a couple of those in. And then when he spins around, you can go ahead and attack his hand. Then you're going to want to try and hit the little hitbox on his uh, back. So try and hit those little sacks. More times you can hit those, the better. And then if he ever starts turning around, just try and follow him around and then hit him a couple times with the sword when you can. Then you can run up to the front again. Try and... Uh, Get those sacks in the front a couple times. And then if he grabs you, you should have enough health to live through it. You just go ahead and heal if that happens. And you're going to run right past the hand and off to his left leg. Try and get a couple hits in there. Finish him off. And that is how you beat the Curse Rider of Greatwood using a sorcerer. If you liked, please remember to like the video and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.